Over the past few years, there's been a lot more talk about publishing fair data. And for you watching this, this probably means creating Darwin Core archives. For most people, this is a new thing. And it's not always easy. And for most people, it's not always obvious what the requirements are. Which Darwin Core terms should you be using as column headers? And which core and extensions should you be including in your Darwin Core archive? Wouldn't it be easier if you had all the requirements written down in one place? That's why I've developed a new spreadsheet template generator, which will make it a lot easier for you to create Darwin Core archives. It will tell you which Darwin Core terms are required and recommended for different cores and extensions. The template that you create will include cell restrictions, so you won't be able to include text, for example, in cells where you're expected to include a number. You will end up with a standardized log of your data, which will make it much easier to prepare your data for publication. In this video, I'll show you exactly how this template generator works and how easy it can be to create a Darwin Core archive if you're using this template generator. To access the template generator, you can type SIOS Svalbard into your favorite search engine. Click on this link, most likely at the top. And in the navbar at the top of the website, go to data and to tools. Here you can see a button for the learnings from Nansen Legacy template generator. Or you can just follow the link in the description. When you get to this page, you can see that there are three configurations, CF Net CDF, Darwin Core, and a learnings from Nansen Legacy logging system, which should mostly only be used for a logging system that I'm currently developing, so watch this space. But in this video, I'm only going to focus on the Darwin Core configuration. If you select this, there are then different sub-configurations that you can also select based on what the core of your Darwin Core archive should be. In this case, I'm going to include an event core, so I'll select sampling event. Each section of the form below then represents one core or extension that will be included as a separate sheet in your template. You can add additional extensions using the buttons at the top, and you can just as easily remove them again. For each core or extension, there are certain terms that are required or recommended, so you don't run into any surprises later when you're trying to upload your data. Each field is a Darwin core term taken from the source file referenced above. You can read the descriptions for each term by hovering over it with your cursor, and you can select all the terms that you want to include in your template. There are also additional terms that you can add using the buttons on the right. Note that these are not Darwin Core terms that you can include as columns in your final Darwin Core archive. However, in some cases, it's useful to be able to record additional information in your templates. You can choose to either exclude these columns later, or you might find a way of mapping them to terms that are accepted in a Darwin Core archive. Finally, we can generate our template. One sheet has been created for each core and extension. The descriptions are visible as notes each time you select a cell. And there are cell restrictions. So for example, you can't insert text for a term where only numbers should be allowed. Once you've filled in your template with your data, it is easy to create and publish a Darwin Core archive. Firstly, I prefer to save each sheet as an individual CSV file. So I'm going to unhide this row here, and I will delete all the rows above it. So we have a simple, unformatted table. Then I will save this sheet as a CSV file. Then I'll do the same for all my other cores and extensions. To create a Darwin Core archive from this, you need to use GBIF's Integrated Publishing Toolkit. I've put a link to this page in the description, which shows you all the places that the Integrated Publishing Toolkit is installed. So most likely, you're going to want to contact one of these places 
and get them to set you an account up on their node. You don't need to install the integrated publishing toolkit yourself. Once you have an account, you can create a resource. I'm creating a Darwin Core archive with an event core, so I'll select this one. Then click here to upload your CSV files as source files. You can select a preview and check that they look okay. And next, you need to map your source files to the correct core or extension. Again, I have an event core. And what you should see is that all the columns have been mapped automatically. This is because your source file already included the correct terms. You can do the same for any of your extensions. And then you just need to add some metadata by filling in this form. I'm not going to go through all of this now. And finally, you make your resource publicly available. You hit publish and register your resource with GBIF and whoever else you want to register it with. And there you go, you've published your data. If new Darwin Core terms are added in the future, you can go to Admin, Get Latest Terms, and pull the latest Darwin Core terms by clicking this button here. This will update the terms that you can select from. If you want to set up this template generator to run on your local computer, or perhaps you host a website, the code is all available on GitHub here. Get in touch if you want some help. And if you encounter any problems with the template generator, or you want to recommend some improvements that can be made, you can raise them as an issue on GitHub. I hope this has been useful. Good luck publishing your data, and I'll see you next time.